name is Deb Ray. I live in Boston, Massachusetts, and I was a, a part of Tom Two. I uh, live in Somerville, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. I uh, have been involved in activities related to Tiny Coastal Moments, uh, kind of the forebears of it, uh, since 1999, 2000 was when I first kind of had my first guitar circle guitar craft experience. Um, and I make my living as a, mostly as a live sound engineer, tour manager, um, and that kind of thing, working in the music industry. My impressions were a little bit interesting. I, I was not uh, available for Tom 1 or Tom 3, so I only went to Tom 2, and I spent about half that project uh, sick in bed with a 102, 103 degree fever. Um, so I missed a good chunk of it. So I, I, my impressions are probably a little bit different than anybody else's. Um, but what I would say, what was really amazing about it to me was the, the joining of forces of this community that I've been a part of for a long time and the way that Steve and others have been able to integrate that with uh, people from outside that community, but still who uh, have some of the same musical sensibilities and some of the same uh, interests and aims and we were and the ability of the group to kind of come together uh, in a in a really short period of time to come together to find common ground and to work together my impressions of that are that there is continuing work and this is something that's really um in a way it's different from other things because you know the other projects and things that i've been a part of it's often is that there'll be a project and then people will come together for that project, whether it be once a year or something like that. And they, and then in the meantime, they go off and work on their own. Uh, and if they have a group that's where in the city that they live in, um, we had a group in New England for a long time, uh, then they can go back to that group and work within that group. But what Tom has been trying to do, which I think is really neat, is to keep that work uh, continuing, uh, both for the people that are in Seattle and then for the people that are outside of Seattle, uh, through communication, through shared work, through connected uh, practice that Steve has been running every Thursday. And so the, my impression is that in a way it's, it's a step forward because the community is actively trying to work together on, a, on an ongoing basis versus um, touching in you know, once a year or something like that. It's, it's more of a uh, integrated and uh, a bigger approach in a way. I think the thing that sticks out the most is the way that people are so giving uh, of their effort, time, energy, musicality to other people within the group. So people were coming in with pieces that were either partially written, sometimes they were more fully written, but they were so open to having the pieces changed, to have the input from other people, from people they've never played with before, people they had just met, uh, people that maybe they had met you know, one year before or whatever, and they were just really um, open to hearing what everyone had to say, what everyone had to offer. And this isn't always the case, because many times people come with a piece and they have a very firm set in mind, like a firm idea of what the piece is supposed to be, and they really try to get people to do what they want. And, and there were so many instances in the project that I was a part of where I, I was watching or a part of uh, the opposite in a way, um, of someone bringing in a piece and being very open and letting the ideas come and letting the whole uh, the piece kind of develop naturally with whoever was uh, participating. And that was a real gift, uh, I think, to the group and to each other to be open and available to, to what's going on with the people that are there.